Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Y. In the previous episode, we caught the legendary Pokemon of this game, Eveltal, and we stopped the evil Lysander. But not really, he actually ended up using the ultimate weapon anyways and destroying himself as well as the Team Flare headquarters. But we managed to escape and the Kalos region is still safe and all of the people are still alive and the Pokemon are still well and healthy. So I think we did a great job. Anyways, before we begin, I would just appreciate if you guys could give this video a like. They really do help me out a lot. You guys have no idea so thank you all so much anyways we are I do not know what city we are in right now but I actually did uh, some off-screen playing I went to Limeo City because I wanted to buy some new outfits and unfortunately the lady there said that I wasn't stylish enough and I had to like do things in order to shop at this outfit store which kind of blows so what I actually uh, ended up doing was I ended up doing a bunch of things in Limeo City and I kind of wanted to record it but I didn't I don't know why I just thought I'd do it off screen but I ended up doing a bunch of things like I got my hair done I went shopping and all that stuff and I still it still wasn't enough I always did about an hour here doing things just to shop at a store for new clothing uh, but that still wasn't good enough so I decided that I'm just gonna go ahead and wait till the end of the game and do that in the after game part where we uh, shop or where we do things that we need in order to like shop in like certain areas and certain stores anyways the next city we're supposed to head to is uh, snow Bell City, but we need to go to uh, any star city first uh, because that is the next city, or that's the only city we can go in order to head down to Snowball City. So we'll probably end up doing it all today in this episode. There's going to be a cave that we're going to encounter that you actually would like to head in if you want to get a Dusk Stone. Um, I'm actually going to be doing that cave in the after game. Like I said, there's going to be a ton of things that I want to do in the after game because um, I just want to beat this game right now. And then the after game, will be, well, there'll be a bunch of things that we're going to want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and deposit Y. Uh, and then I'm going to withdraw one of my Pokemon. Most likely Tyrant because I want to teach him Rock Smash. Um, or we could withdraw... Do we need... I don't think we really need Rock Smash at the moment if we're not entering the cave, so... But I'm just gonna grab him anyways, just in case we do need Rock Smash. I can't be too sure, so... You know, might as well just grab him and take him with us on our journey. It's not like he'll hurt us or do anything. So, I mean, I don't really sh fluctuate with all of my Pokemon. I don't use them all. Uh, I've been only using like two or three at the most, but that's about it. Because this game is, in fact, really easy. Uh, Rock Smash is not an HM. HMs are highlighted in red. That's how you know uh, an HM from a TM. For those who, like, never play Pokemon, at least in this game, that's how you differentiate them. Rock Smash is now, in fact, a TM. So, oh, no, we're not teaching it to... We're not teaching it to Charizard. We are teaching Rock Smash to Tyrant. And he's only level 34 because I deposited him back in the PC, I believe, when I wanted to withdraw Whizpig. So we're going to get rid of the move. Rock Smash deals 40 damage. Eh. We'll get rid of... Um, we'll, get, we'll get rid of Bite because Crunch is like the equivalent of Bite, only stronger. So there's no point of having two of the same moves. So now that he learns Rock Smash, we can uh, we can leave. We can leave this city in one piece. A hollow clip received from. I'm gonna take it. It's Professor Sakemore. I was expecting something from you. Do you have a minute? I'd like to talk to you face to face. Let's meet in Corner Waste Town. All right. We're gonna meet in the next town. I'm pretty sure I butchered the name of the town, but I'll try to pronunciate it correctly once we actually make it there. I do have max repels, so I'm pretty positive about that. I'm pretty sure we'll encounter a bunch of trainers too on the way. Maybe like two or three in Route 18. Uh, yeah, there's a trainer. You could avoid her, there's another trainer. We could also, oh, can we not avoid him? You can actually, but you'd have to run through the grass and then you'll end up running into a wild Pokemon, which is okay. We ran into, oh my god, a Torkoal. Uh, do I want to catch this guy? This is so tempting. I just really want to catch these Pokemon. I'm just going to leave them because, like I said, I haven't caught any Pokemon at the beginning of the game. So there's really no point in to start catching Pokemon now. I think it would be best if I were to make videos of me catching these Pokemon. It would, it would be a lot more convenient and a lot... I think... I don't know. I feel like you guys would appreciate it more if I were to catch Pokemon on screen and record them. Let me know. What do you guys think? Should I be doing that? Because, I mean, I could catch Pokemon on my own time and build up my Pokedex the way I want it, but I'm taking your feelings into consideration. If you guys want to see me catch Pokemon, I'll do that. I'll leave that good stuff to, uh, to on screen. 
That way you guys don't have to miss out on anything. And we're leaving all of these areas like like the trainers here and everything because I do want to come I want to be able to come back here and uh and battle all of the, all of the trainers with like a new team and all that good stuff and be able to explore the areas really well. We found a pearl, that's legit. I'm pretty sure I'm headed the wrong way too. Where I'm supposed to go is unless I'm heading the right way. I'm actually really confused, but I'm going to use a max repel. Because that's the only thing preventing me from entering the wild grass. I don't want to run into wild Pokemon. I don't really care if I run into like a trainer on accident. Because I mean, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to obliterate them. Because we are way too over leveled at this point in the game. But a max repel will suffice. Plus, this entire game so far has just been trainer battles. That's all we've been doing recently. We've just been battling trainers. Yeah, here we are. Coraway Town. And there's the Pokemon Center. Well, that was quick. That was a uh, an easy journey. Really fast and uh, quick to make it here. Who's this lady? I really like the story of the Magikarp climbing the waterfall. Hey, I've never heard that story. Does she not want to tell it to me? I like stories. What is up here? Up here it looks like it's a train station. Uh, there's an item. A rare candy. Nice. So, so far I have two rare candies. I'm probably never going to use them because it's not good to use rare candies on Pokemon. They don't get the proper EV stats. You can't EV train them when you, uh... It's not, it's not the same as EV training if you use rare candies. And here we have Professor Sakemore. Hello, good sir. I have to apologize to you about Lysander. I'm very sorry for the trouble he's caused. And I'd like to thank you. I'm sincerely grateful for what you did for all of the Pokemon and people of this world. And by stopping Team Flare, you also saved Lysandra. I always knew that he desired a beautiful world. And maybe someday the population of Pokemon, of people and Pokemon will actually increase to where resources become very scarce. If someone acts out of greed in such a world, surely someone will go without. If all living things keep acting that way, there will be nothing left at all in this world. Why, there won't even be anything left to steal, will there? But that's what I really wanted f That's what I really wanted was for him to put his ego aside and lead everything to greater heights. I never had this discussion with him, though, so I'm partially responsible for this. Well, enough of that, Sully. I want you and your Pokemon to take everything you learned from your journey and hit me with the very best shot. So we're going to be battling against Professor Sakemore. I'm pretty sure he has the three starter Pokemon from the Kanto region, Venusaur, Blastoise, and Charizard, but they're not uh, starters anymore. They're actually fully evolved. Good thing I have Charizard in the lead. Do you want to do a Mega on Mega battle? I don't think he has a Mega Ring or anything like that. Maybe he does. I don't know. Because, I mean, if he said this was the last Mega Ring... I'm not sure how Lysander got his, but he did. And I need to find the Mega Stones. I'm going to make a video at the end of this Let's Play after we beat in it in the after game. I'll make a video showing off where all the Mega Stones are. I'm going to get Mega... I'm going to have a Mega Garchomp really soon. Garchomp's, uh... My Garchomp's about to become a Garchomp, and I'm really excited for that. So I can't wait. Once it becomes a Garchomp, I'm going to hunt down that Mega Stone and... And use Garchomp like no tomorrow. So it's gonna send out Blastoise. I'm gonna go ahead and send out. I'm gonna send out Hawk. Charizard is level 60. That's insane. His levels are so high right now. I'm gonna send out Hawk and Professor Sigmore sends out Blastoise, which is legit. We're gonna go ahead and do uh let's do high jump kick. Because why not? Blastoise used Water Pulse. Come on, Blastoise. You're stronger than that. You should probably have Surf right now. Oh, but it confused me, which is good. So, touche to you for that. Let's go ahead and do another uh, high jump kick. Let's hope I don't crash or hit myself in confusion, which is good. And, I, and his final Pokemon would be Charizard, so then Greninja can actually take out Charizard. Don't have to worry about Hawk doing any, uh, any more work. Leave the best for last. He even knows it. Should have picked Charizard, man. Anyone who's played this game should have picked Charizard as the starter type. Um, in my Pokemon X file, I actually chose Blastoise because I wanted the uh, the arm cannons for his arms. I think that's it looks really sick, so that's why I chose Blastoise for Pokemon um, Pokemon X, the one that I'm playing on my own time. So we're gonna do one more Surf, and that should obliterate this Charizard. Voila! Super effective. And that is how it's done. You better give us some good money, Professor Sakemore, or I'll be pretty pissed off. 
Monster in close combat. How many? How much? Da oh, that does 120 damage. The only thing about close combat, it uh, it decreases your defense massively, like tremendously. So, it's a move that you want to do when you know that you're gonna switch out, or you don't really care about your Pokemon dying. So. If you're in desperate need, then do close combat, but I wouldn't risk it. Because, I mean, like, it it's beneficial. Kind of like, um, high jump kick. That move does deals 140 damage, but you could end up crashing. And if you do crash, that'll take half of your HP. The strength you found is simply marvelous. And you trust love and... You trust, or you truly love and trust your Pokemon. I read truly as trust. I'm like, you trust, love, and trust your Pokemon. Sully, a treasure of mine is hidden in this town. If you'd like, try to find it. Well, I'll be off now. I have many preparations I must attend to. I have a little surprise planned for all of you, and thank you for fighting Team Flares and saving Kalos. All right, thank you for fighting Team Flares and saving us in Kalos. We're going to head down now. We're going to just continue on our way. We're not even going to stop to look around or look for anything, which we should be doing. We should be exploring these places thoroughly. But like I said, like after we finish this game, there's going to be like an extra 20 episodes of just after game. So get stoked for that. Like, I hope you guys are ready for it because I'm honestly really prepared for it. And I can't wait to get started on it because I'll feel free. I won't feel like I have to attend to doing this. Uh, there's actually a Pokeball back there that I want to get. Uh, cause that looks interesting. What is, what could this be? It's a max revive. Hmm. And there looks like, uh, there's staircases over there. Ah, uh, you know what? We're gonna explore this area at the end of the game, I promise, guys. Don't worry about it. I just wanna get through the town and just do everything real quickly right now. And then we'll start doing every- like that swamp area down there. I played that in my Pokemon X file. You'll find great items down there. Just use your, um, your item finder thing. Hey, do you know what's about to happen? No, I don't. We're going to battle, silly. We're our Pokemon trainers after all. Yeah, we are. I'm a Pokemon master. Get it right, Shauna. And Delicati she sends out her Delicati. All right, this is good. I've never, I don't think we've battled Shauna more than once in this game, so this is gonna be fun. This shall be an interesting battle indeed. All right, let's go ahead and do Flamethrower. Our Pokemon are actually, wow, almost level 50. That's pretty legit. I'm actually really surprised. Goodbye, Delicati. That was easy. And her next Pokemon is going to be a Gudra. Um, it's okay. We'll stick with Charizard. I think she has the fire type starter Pokemon. I'm pretty sure that's what she has. Uh, so I could have sent out Greninja and took both of them out, but it's okay. We'll go ahead and do Flamethrower. It should do some damage on it. But before that, I want to Mega Evolve just so she can see it. So she can see my Mega Charizard. But she's like, oh my god, I'm so wet right now. Because, you know, I splashed water in her face. That's probably why. You know, because there's a, like a river or swamp underneath us. Oh, wow, who, who knew that flamethrower wasn't effective on this? Uh-oh, that's going to do some damage. But not really. All right, let's do Dragon Rage. Deal 60 damage. Yep, that's definitely a tanky Pokemon. That's a lot of HP. Mmm, body slam. I'm paralyzed now. Just what I wanted. I love being paralyzed by Pokemon. Can we just attack it? Oh, I'm still paralyzed. That's great. That is great. If I attack and kill it, that would be magnificent. It killed it. Nice. And if you guys think this is it, then you are fooled. Because there's something else after this. And uh, you will see in just a second. And it pissed me off because like the first time I did it, when I played this, I played Pokemon like like I like you guys know I'm playing through Pokemon X, right? And I've already beaten the game on that. Um, I've already beaten Pokemon X. So when I first played Pokemon X, I was still really early on this game in the Let's Play. But when I did this part, at least I remember fighting all of the trainers in all of the areas. I explored everything thoroughly. I did the cave and I battled all of the trainers. I was really high leveled. But when I came to cross the bridge, I didn't realize that we were going to battle against Shauna. So my Pokemon weren't healed at all. And I think two of them were fainted at this point. And they were all really weak and I didn't have the items to like revive them all or whatever. So we battled Shauna and I did it and I managed to kill her and it was, it was just with luck. And then out comes Turno. The stupid bastard, and he wants to battle. And I was saying, I better have my Pokemon healed. 
But, you know, we get in the battle, we start it, my Pokemon aren't healed. I only have two Pokemon at this point alive, and I blacked out. It sucked. I was so pissed off, because, yeah, they, I don't know, it was just really frustrating. I'm not going to learn the move Haze. What am I doing? Why am I keep forgetting? No, we are not forgetting a move for Haze. We're just going to keep our old moves. That's what we're going to do. But yeah, I lost to Turno, so I just ended up restarting the game. I was like, screw that, I'm not paying any money. I'm not losing to Turno. It's frustrating, because I had to redo everything again, but... That reminded me of a battle that we had in Aquacord Town. That was the first time for both of us to battle with our Pokemon. Hello, big ass. Hi, Shauna. And there he is, Turno and Trevor. What are you two up to? Nothing big. How about you guys? Why? The same thing as you, Shauna. We heard about Big S from the professor and we came running as fast as we could. Big S, can we have a Pokemon battle? Oh, well, sorry to just throw it at you. So yeah, you have to battle him and it's gonna suck. Well, not now, because I mean, my Pokemon are good. Look at it, he has a Vanilla Ice on his, on his shirt. That's cute. <laughs> cosplaying. Well, he's not cosplaying, but he has just like a... He's wearing Pokemon themed shirts. Alright, so let's uh, let's transform and do uh, flamethrower if we can. If we're not paralyzed still, because if we are, that's definitely going to suck. And he's probably going to end up killing my Charizard with one of his moves, because he is pretty strong. Wow, yep, almost killed me. So I'm going to use a Hyper Potion. I'm not even gonna risk it, or I'll switch out. Wow, it wasn't even effective and I still killed it. All right, this is good. This is good, guys. This is really good. All right, what else? Jaws grew to level 47. Thank you, he's about to evolve. Crudunt. We will switch out into Goku. Charizard's been gaining a ton of experience already. He's at level 61, so he's much higher level than the rest of these guys. Um, and we are going, we can't Mega Evolve, we are going to do, I'll do Close Combat, I'll attack it with Bone Rush first, see how much damage that deals. I don't think fighting is actually effective on this at all, but if it wants, it could kill me. I'll attempt to Close Combat, see how much damage it deals, and then I'll probably switch out. Oh, never mind, it's super effective on it, I wasn't aware of that. Okay, that's good. And at this point too, when I... When I did it on Pokemon X, my uh, my Lucario is dead, so gonna do much there. I'm just gonna send out Rose Raid. I'm gonna switch out once again into Charizard, even though he is weak and about to die with Paralysis. We're gonna just send him out anyways. I'm gonna risk it, and we are gonna do Flamethrower. Ah oh, no! Of course it attacks me first. Of course. Ah, <sighs> alright. It's whatever, though. I'm like 12 levels higher than it, and it still manages to attack me first. That's so stupid. Alright, this better work, because it'll kill me if I do close combat again, because my defense will even fall, like, lower than it should be, and I'll be in the, in the red zone. Oh my god, and my special defense fell. Right, this is it, man. I'm dead. Oh my god! It wasn't very effective, but it took about 60 HP. One more close combat, I believe, will be able to kill it. This is really stupid thinking of me, because what if it did not kill it? I would have ended up losing Lucario anyways. Ah, uh, you just gotta risk it, man. Gotta go with what your gut tells you when you play Pokemon. But yeah, I mean, like, uh, wow, Eternity asking someone to battle. What's up with that? Junior said, "Shot made me think. If Big Shauna hadn't been there, I would have been. I wouldn't be dancing. That's for sure." All right. Is there a point to this story? Do not tell me you want to battle me, Turno. I swear to God, I will push you off the bridge. Thank you. He wants to freaking battle. You got to be kidding me. But at least he healed my Pokemon because I was getting worried that he wasn't. <laughs> yeah, you send out your right you little bastard. I could have had one of those cute little muffins, but no. I decided not to keep Pikachu around. I wanted a Jolteon, but then I ended up getting too busy and caught up with my current team that I never trained DV, never got a Jolteon, I never got a Sylveon, never did anything good. I'm just useless. 
But all that will be done, guys, in the after game. Because remember, always remember this. You'll face off the Elite for the first time, right? And then the champion. And then there's always a round two. The round two is the official time. The first time, they're a joke. I don't even consider that, like, oh, the Elite Four. They're, like, they're like prepping you up, you know? They want, they want to get you ready for battling the Elite Four, pretty much. So, a Dragon Tail does 60 damage. Dragon Claw, I believe, does 80 damage, which is good. So, we're going to forget Dragon Tail for Dragon Claw. It's not practical to have two of the same move types. Uh, with the only difference one doing less damage than the other. We will switch out into a flip flop. Greninja will be able to take out Aerodactyl. I remember when I had an Aerodactyl. Yeah, they were fun. Fun days, fun times, man. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and do Surf. And kill him. Well, maybe not kill him, but we, we did some damage. It's trying to confuse me right now. Because that has nothing better to do. We'll attack it with Surf one more time. Hopefully you're not confused. You, you bastard. Screw you, Greninja. And it took me up with him to the sky. Wow. Well, we'll flip flop to. I can't do anything. I'm not here. Pew. That was a weak move. I'm still confused. Come on. Are you kidding me? Jesus. It took me up to the sky again. How cheap is this? That's why I hate confusion. When you confuse a Pokemon trainer, they don't say confused. Only your Pokemon say confused. Man, just, just keep attacking me, you son of a bastard. That's all you're good for. Do not hurt yourself. Are you kidding me? God. Three turns in a row, you son of a bitch. Then die. I don't give a crap anymore. Like, stay dead for all I care. God, I hate Pokemon. They're so stupid. I could have killed this Aerodactyl like three turns ago. But I have to drag out this stupid battle because stupid Greninja has to stay confused. I know it's not a big deal, but it just it pisses me off. Because like when you confuse a Pokemon trainer, they snap out of it instantly. Like within one turn, they're already snapped out of it. But your Pokemon stay confused for God knows how many turns. If you didn't kill me, I probably would have stayed confused for like ten turns. It's frustrating. Ah, <sighs> anyways. Let this bastard kill me. Great job. Should've sent out Charizard. Alright, Charizard. You go. You better heal my freaking Pokemon after this battle, too. Or I'll be pissed. Alright, flamethrower it is. Do your magic flamethrower, and that is it. Don't mess around with me, Trevor. Suck a fat... Diglet. There's still so much I don't know. Do I just not have what it takes? Wow, I don't think I've heard you worry about being weak or strong before, Trevor. You seem a lot bolder than you used to be. It's because you went on a journey, or maybe it's because you, what you learned from being with your Pokemon and us, with your friends. Okay, I don't really care, this is really cheesy, and I hate you guys, so... I just want to get out of here. Yeah, just... Why are you here, Shauna? I'm so glad I went on a journey. I made some great friends. Yeah, you did, but... I like Serena. And we obtained HM05 Waterfall. Now go catch a magic carp so we can uh, reenact the whole magic carp climbing the waterfall story the bastards did not heal my pokemon either what the duck man screw those guys man they didn't heal my pokemon or anything like that they just freaking left off and ran leaving me hanging there Anyways, we are finally here, guys. In the next episode, we're going to take on the final gym leader of the Kalos region. I hope you guys are excited as I am, because after that, we're going to make our way up to Victory Road, and then we're going to take on the Pokemon League, and then finish the champion, and then we'll be done with Pokemon Y, the main story, and then we'll do everything in the after game. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.